So here I am at the end of El Camino del Santiago de Compostela, so in the Praza del Obrero, Obradora, I think it is, sorry, Praza del Obradora, which is outside the Catedral de, de Santiago. And um, it is hot out here for a start, and this is a, a brief opportunity not to wear a mask um, as I speak. We are social distancing, but um, at the moment everyone is wearing masks. But here we are in the square, which is one of the traditional ends of the, the, the Camino and the way that this pilgrimage that around 300,000 people a year make to this amazing city, one of the three holy sites of um, medieval Christianity uh, for pilgrimages, which is Jerusalem, Rome, and here. So. Why, why make a pilgrimage? And I guess this is why I'm standing here talking about it, it's because we've discovered that we're on our own pilgrimage. You know, why did we sell our home, buy a motor, car uh, motor home, or auto caravan in Spanish, and, and travel around Europe? I guess it's to find something out about ourselves. You know, pilgrimages are tend to be that you find something out about yourself, you're changed by the journey, you come closer to your God, um, you, you visit some kind of holy place for a good reason, or even apparently some reasons for penance or penalty in life. Um, but for us, it is a journey of exploration. Sure, we do want to become closer to our God, to, you know, to the person that we see as our creator. Um, and how, how, I guess, he wants us to live and behave. You know, it was, there was definitely something that we wanted to see that was different um, to the life we led in England, um, which was not in any way bad. It was just perhaps not what we felt was for us. So here we are. And yeah, we've learned a few things while we've been here. Um, about how to live about the, on this journey for the last uh, eight or eight or so months since, since we left England. Um, I mean, it's just happened to be a good backdrop to talk about it, I guess. But to have to be more tolerant to one another when we have lived in a space in a, in, a, in our motorhome during lockdown for more than ten weeks um, in a you know ten by ten square meter piece of land um, and less indoor space than that. You know, how do we learn to love one another? I guess as a neighbour, each one of us to be more patient and more tolerant, to give up things that are been of ourselves. That doesn't make every day easy, it doesn't actually make some days harder to try and be like that. Um, but you know what we've learned is to be is to, is to have more peace really. And this isn't the end of our journey. For some people that ends their, their journey at the pilgrimage ends here, some people walk thousands of miles, some people walk the uh, the last hundred or so that you need to get your certificate. I think it's called the Compostela at the end of it. You can get it just around the, just uh, just behind me over there somewhere and so um, but for us our journey continues I think we'll, we'll, we'll go to a place called Finisterre which is uh, which means the end of the earth because that's believed as the end of the world um, in medieval times and just take a look out at the great wide ocean in front of us but as we can continue our journey um, along our way our different way we'll I guess hope that we find more about ourselves we change more by the by the adventures that we have as we continue our family life together.